What's going on Oxpeckers? And before we get into the video, I wanted to talk about the patch notes. So we just got our first look at the 2.00 patch and luckily for us to start out the 2.0 patch cycle, it's a banger. It's only got one change, but at least the one change is really good. So obviously this is a huge, huge nerf to go hard. A few things that I wanted to touch on is number one, this is a bigger nerf than it looks like because now Zap Sprayfin cannot pull go hard. I think that's one of the most underrated factors about this nerf. As well as Zap Sprayfin not being able to pull pack your bags anymore, another key point is that you can no longer cast Ladros plus pack your bags in the same turn setting up a crazy fast lethal combo. That's a really big hit to the deck's finishing power. Although I still think this deck will still be playable, I think it's probably going to sit around tier 2 if it survives. <laughs> I think more importantly, a great part about this nerf is that it still leaves it available to some of the control decks because 5 mana, deal 5 damage to everything is still really good for a control deck. It doesn't work nearly as well with the tempo heavy deck like the TF deck, but for something like Spooky Karma, this is still exceptional. Spooky Karma can still double cast Go Hard, and if the second iteration of the Go Hard cast is your fourth cast, that will still turn into pack your bags, so you can technically still get off pack your bags, plus a go hard with only one mana with spooky karma. So this will open up more diversity. Sadly, this is a nerf to the deck that I'm covering in this video, Feel the Rush, but if we see control archetypes come back that are centered around go hard, then Feel the Rush will still be playable. Um, I don't think that Feel the Rush is going to get completely pushed out of the meta, but it is, it is significantly weaker because the deck that it was brought into the meta to counter is no longer going to be the king of the meta. The king of the meta will likely still be scouts, and if you want to get ahead of the meta and play something on day one that will probably perform really well on the ladder, my recommendation is Fiora Shin. Fiora Shin does really well into scouts, and I think you'll be able to farm some easy LP off of all the scout abusers. I could talk more about go hard, such as how this ruins their curves in certain situations, but I think the rest of the changes are pretty obvious. I really just wanted to touch on two of the underlying changes that this nerf brings about that are really important to consider. All right, guys, that's it for the patch. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, this intro's gone on long enough, so let's run this deck down real quick. It's real simple. Survive till turn nine, play Feel the Rush. Win the game. You also have an alternate win condition inside of Ladros and Atrocity if you can't get the field of win off safely. Your worst matchups are decks with Targon or Ionia in them. Targon has Hush, which stops your Overwhelm units, and Ionia has Deny, which Deny denies Field of Rush. Inside of your Mulligan, you're looking for Catalyst of Aeons, Avalanche, Avaros and Sentry, and Avaros and Trapper. Into Aggro or Zoe decks, you might want to look for Vile Feast. And into Soraka Tom Kench, do not play Trapper. Do not wrestle them for board control. You need to look for Ruination in your opening hand. This deck is extremely easy to play, but I have had a blast playing it, and I know you will have a blast playing it too if you enjoy control. And you know what I enjoy? I enjoy when y'all go down there and hit that damn Order. like button, baby. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. Stubby, wait! <laughs> we hate a pest scholar EU. <laughs> we hate him. Alright, I won't mess up this time. No trapper. No trapper. Do I develop trundle though? Probably. No trapper. Build a rush is good. Atrocity is good. Ruination's the best though. Stubby, your support today has been really insane. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Does a trapper? <laughs> Does a trapper? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. 
you got my ass. Fuck, dude. Stop spoiling it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> Have you gone to the vet because those pythons looking pretty sick? <laughs> Damn. We just got him to not swing there. That's sick. <laughs> Jesus. He's going in. No, not two trapplers. I'm now insecure. Don't be insecure, baby boy. This is, um... Really fucking bad. Should I have played Avarosin just to be able to block this? I think I'll probably just uh, Ice Quake him next turn. Imagine not playing your trappers. <laughs> we got two of them right here. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> this isn't even right, man. Frick. Damn, what do I do? <clears throat> uh, I'm definitely doing this. But this feels... Okay, I can block here. Just take six, that's not a big deal. Music sounds like a <laughs> highlight outro. <laughs> I really wanted to level up a Trundle here, but it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh, the uh, one mana on the five mana trade. Pretty good. I think I just got double trend him here. This is winnable. Since he pulled Tom Kinch, it's annoying though. Because now he can eat me. Oh wait, but he can't. I'll just do too much damage to him. I mean, he could. Uh, I don't know what to play, boys. I think I might just have to send it. And eat pillar. <laughs> no, please, not the pillar. Uh, I kind of want to go feel the rush. Just cinder. Send it. Considering all my options. Because I know one of these units could get... Clinch. <laughs> Clinch. I'm clinched.
Catfish consumes entire 12 foot tall pillar of ice has no side effects. Bro, this is not 12 foot. This guy is, let's, let's give it a modest five foot. Okay. We do the math. This is like 30 feet tall. Can you play Darius Draven aggro again, please? Cause I'm pretty interested in that deck for my climb, but don't know how to play it. I have a guide on it. I have a guide on it. Retargeting. Oh, he's actually eating my pillar. No. No, my pillar. Damn you, Kent. Give me my pillar back, you rat. Uh, we don't necessarily get it back if he hushes this. It's up to him whether he wants to hush um, the overwhelms or if he wants to hush this. He's so lame, man. Ugh, he's so lame. Atrocity Tom? <laughs> you got it, boss. <laughs> you dare me? Don't dare me. Don't you dare dare me. I dare you not to dare me. I dare you to dare me. Hail to the king! <laughs> when a Tom dies, we dance at my house. And we dance. And we laugh. And we cry. Those were the days. You're tempting me too much, Doobie. I don't know if I can control myself. Stars fall. Yeah, there's no killing it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, possible that I block this? Even though he's getting more healing, that way I can do more overwhelm next turn. Actually, I can't. I cannot. I shan't. Oh, but I must. Oh, but I must. Trundle atrocity? No. Today, we tell Stuby, you get up and dance. You get up and dance right now. You must dance. No! Just kidding, bitch. There's no running from this. Give me my pillar back. Give me my pillar back right now, young man. <laughs> we dance. Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we finally we finally took a win. Let's go, dude. Alright, we'll definitely want this. I could see keeping Ruination, but hitting low drop cards is pretty important. I don't know if I have the ability to keep Ruination. Stuff like Vile and a better curve is probably better. Fill the Rush Vi. It's probably too slow. Overwhelm is just a easier way of doing that. But uh, give it a try, man. Banking here could be good. 
but I don't think I'm playing Avalanche next turn anyways. It's most likely just passing. Like I think we play around the um, the worst possible hand, which is which is Plaza into the Scout attack. So I think this play is better into that that hand. The trap is set. You are a good player. Thanks. It's all caps, so I don't know if that's cap. <laughs> but we take those. Appreciate it. Uh, do I want to develop this or this? Feels like a Yeti kind of turn. I'm not sure if I really care about this as much. I think I just want to play units, right? Actually, he only has two units down. I probably just pop this down. Slam it. Next turn is six mana turn. So I'm only playing this. Whereas if I were to play this this turn, bank three, I can possibly use these two. Actually, I like this better. <clears throat> is your caps lock button broken? That's unfortunate, man. Okay. Sure. It's kind of a weird... Kind of a weird play. Alright. That's just GG. Feels like it's just GG, right? Will I trade this? Maybe not. Like, killing bear is pretty nice. But... I could just put a couple bits of damage on it and then avalanche it later. It's like, my whole board pretty much dies to avalanche. Not this, but... Setting him up for Avalanche punishes development. If I don't kill this, he could open swing with just this guy, but that's such a weak turn. I think I prep it for Avalanche. If I trade this right now, then my Avalanching is so bad for me. So it really, it really hurts my Avalanche. I think this is probably better. It's kind of a weird swing by him altogether. Like, it feels like a tilt swing. Good draw. I don't care about drawing. I win this I win this game by just not taking damage. So the best way to not take damage is uh Yeah, he would have lived, yeah, but it dies to Avalanche. That's the only reason why I did it. <clears throat> Take the two for two trade because the the valor swing is really bad for me. Okay, I guess this is looking good for me. MF getting kind of close to leveling kind of sucks, but we have fairly high odds of drawing like whale or something. And sorry, turn seven. If he passes here, do I swing? Surely he would have insta-passed if he had repost. I'm pretty sure I swing into this. At most they run like one repost a lot of time. Maybe two if they're psychopaths. Maybe he's considering a vile feast by me. Hmm. So he was worried about me passing abusing him 
It still seems like a weird play. I mean, he could be running like, he could have like double sharp side in hand. It feels like if I swing, I put minimum six damage on him and I can set him up for atrocity, but I don't think that that is necessarily going to lead to a win as consistently as just waiting for Feel the Rush. Plus, I have a heal in hand. I have Ladros Atrocity. Like, I have other win conditions. So I think playing around... Okay, now do I just swing? I think I swing here. Okay. So... Do I just atrocity him? Is that just GG? Single combat. He would have to have repost single combat. So I'm pretty sure I just win here. Because... Does he develop? Wait, why didn't he swing with MF? This guy's trolling. Um... I take way too much damage this turn. I have to kill him this turn. So we send it. GG. Okay, we're snagging some wins. See the trapper value? Yeah, trapper value is definitely there. I'm a huge fan of trapper. I just wasn't sure. I'm also a huge fan of kindly, kindly tavern keeper though, to be fair. I really like both those cards a lot. <laughs> 